Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are now still on Lutetia part 3 doing the fruit block designs and the fruit blocks have been working out surprisingly well. And in this part we're going to be going up to higher level housing, hopefully some palaces and villas at least. And uh, we've got some fancy blocks to do, so let's get things started. All right, here we are still on Lutetia. Look at this, this block from Kenny. Fantastic. Anyway, we've got a lot of money and our money is just going up and up and up. So what I'm first going to do, let's let's rush through this. We've got big population to do. Uh, we're going for 10,000 people on this map, by the way. So the two main blocks I want to do right now are the pineapple block and the cherry block. So let's get, let's get the pineapple block down first. And I want to place it like right here, not too far away from the food. I'm going to have to demolish this forest here, but uh, it's going to... I really like the look of this block. It is not really functional or efficient at all, but it's nice. It's good. I love it. Uh, and I'm going to start it right here. Let's be a little bit efficient with the space. And it's going to be a decent size, maybe up to about here. And then we need to like... How many rows should I go? Like that? I think like that. And then we're gonna go up like this, and it's gonna go to this. Fruit blocks. I can't believe fruit blocks are working, but then again, I said that about animal blocks, and turned out animal blocks turned out okay. Anyway, this right now, I have to be careful about the pineapple block because it could easily look like a ketupat. If you don't know what a ketupat is, I live in Malaysia. A ketupat right, is you take uh, some rice, right, you take rice and you cook it and you, you sort of squeeze it into a square shape, right, and then it's wrapped with woven uh, coconut leaves, right, it's wrapped with woven coconut leaves and then steamed inside the coconut leaves, right, it's, it's a, it's a, I don't know if there's an English word for it, but it's a kutupa and then you steam it in the, this sort of square diamond shape and then it's got the, the coconut leaves coming up the top and you can braid it and do all sorts of fancy patterns with it. And uh, how do I spell it? K-E-T-U-P-A-T. -E you can go Google that right now. Ketupat. And uh, traditionally it's it's made around uh, the, the the Ramadan time for, for food and stuff. And it's just like sort of condensed rice. <laughs> It's a different way of eating rice. There we go. Boris is, is spelling it out in chat. Anyway, this is a pineapple, but um, let's let's try and make it look somewhat decent. We could have service buildings sort of spread out around here, but uh, how do I want to make this look like a pineapple? It's going to have that, and then it can have sort of just sort of a little bit of a pattern going like that, right? Maybe if I break this, that doesn't really look so good. Ah, oh, this, this is tricky. This, this is tricky, this is tricky. We, we might have to tweak this a little bit. Maybe if uh, this was a little longer. That looks okay, okay. Pineapple block, pineapple block. <laughs> Evil scientists found the Kutupat page on Wikipedia. Yeah, that looks good. That's gonna be our pineapple block and we are actually going to have the houses do this because it looks brilliant. Right, looks good, looks good. Now let's just make sure uh, we preemptively put down engineer's posts so nothing burns down. I think it should be okay to have them like... Let's just make sure we have lots of engineer's posts. Uh, how do I want to place this? I'm trying to be efficient with my building placement, but I also want to be symmetrical, which is always difficult. So I'm going to have like a building here, building there, and that's going to be like that. Okay, we could make that work. That should be pretty secure. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> now, onto the cherry block, which I'm going to put here. And uh, this road is hooked up to what exactly? Uh, just there? Okay, I gotta make sure... Ooh, it's n Okay, it's not connected up to there. Okay. We gotta make sure there's no road connections to various resources. Now, Cherry Block is gonna be for luxury palaces. I'm gonna break this road connection for now. And I think this is a decent enough place to put it. Yeah? Yeah. And we're gonna need to make sure we have enough space here. Let's clear off some of this forest. 
right? Okay, let's clear that off. What was that message? Employees needed, don't worry, more people are gonna be moving in. Uh, and... How big do, the, do I want the cherry block to be? Basically, I could fit like four, four palaces on each cherry block. So if I had the first cherry, so-called, here, it needs to be one, two, three, four, with a gap of two for an oracle. One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, that should be good. Right? And then one, two, three, four. Gap of two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is gonna be cherry number one. And cherry number two is now... Uh, should it be symmetrical? Like, lined up exactly? Probably, right? Probably. And then the two cherries would sort of hook up like that onto this road. The geometric cherries, okay? So, <laughs> okay, so I do need to demolish some of this. Cut down this forest here. We'll try make it look somewhat not so cut out, but... Okay. So we're going one, two, three, four, gap of two, one, two, three, four, okay. With space for services on the side, one, two, three, four, gap of two, one, two, three, four, okay. So this is the second cherry, okay. There's two cherries, and then basically we need like a leaf. Now, I like the way Kenny did this, this leaf here. So what kind of leaves do cherries have? They're, they're, uh, I can't remember what kind of leaves cherries have, but I think they're pretty standard-looking leaves, right? Leaf. <laughs> uh... Ah, I used to play Sim Park, I should know this. It, it made you guess all the different kinds of leaves, but I guess we'll just have another leaf. Maybe a smaller leaf coming out this side. Needs to be a bit... like that, maybe. How do I make... You know, that's okay, that's okay. There we go, a cherry block. Um, unfortunately, this road also needs to be connected up through all this. It won't look good if the road goes through there. Can I... can I just snake a road through here? Can I snake a road through here? There we go. We can have a natural looking road. I don't mind this. I very rarely do this, but... Yeah, this looks like a decent enough road, and this road can just... Let's keep that straight, though. Okay. You need a road connection from the barracks to towers for them to maintain functionality. There we go. That actually looks nice. This, this sort of back road around the lake looks good. Looks good. Ah, and then the houses are gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's guarantee nothing ever collapses with an engineer's post here, engineer's post here. We're probably gonna need some houses at this intersection to make sure there's uh, stuff there, engineer's post there and there. Okay. Probably need a couple houses there just to make sure things actually function appropriately. This is all not very efficient, but let's put engineer's post on the inside there as well. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Good, good. So we've got our pineapple block going there, a cherry block there, a dissected, dissected apple there with a branch and leaves, look at that. Uh, this is a pear block, by the way. This is a lemon block. Uh, this is a symbolic apple block. This is a, a fruit wedge of ambiguous fruit. And here's the banana block. Looks good. Looks good. This is what we do here on the GameZack channel in Caesar 3. <laughs> Two types of food are coming down here. We are going to try feed these houses, if at all possible. 
this is just asking for desirability. Yeah. We plazaed up the core of the apple. So that cost us like 3,000 3, in cash, but let's, uh, let's speed things along here. Yeah? Let's make sure everything is going along. Okay, we'll need that space. We could easily hook up the pineapple block to the food source here, if anything. Um, or I could hook it up to there. Yeah, we could feed... That could work. How do I... How do I get this working appropriately? If I could just make sure we are safe on engineer's posts here. I could easily have the granary stuck right there set to accepting just wheat because we have plenty of wheat left over here is there enough food over on this side no we actually need a bit more food here let me just uh one two three gap we need to shift this road over so that we can do that extend this road like that have two more warehouses here set to getting wheat this will bring more food over to the banana block which seems to be struggling right now because of uh, the increased population from evolving them so let's try stabilize the food supply before we do anything okay where are the fountains going wherever they need to be <laughs> Uh, it might be a little tricky, but uh, we should be able to make it work. It's not the hardest setup we've ever had. See, we can have a reservoir there. Let's see how far that reaches. Okay, that gets up to there. One, two, three, four. We can have like a fountain right there. One, two, uh, we could be a bit more efficient on this side. That should cover there. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yeah, and that should cover those houses. Yeah, then we just need a reservoir on this side, right? Yeah, there we go. And let's just try and make sure nothing ever collapses. <laughs> okay, okay, it's all looking very nice. Our military is maxed out. We've got towers galore on all sides. So I'm not going to be worried too much about military from here on out. It all looks pretty good. Uh, more food, yeah, all of this working okay, yeah, 200 wheat, uh, yeah, we are just struggling a little bit on food on that side, but it should be okay, it should be okay, see some people moving out, they're coming down this way, it's fine, it's fine, ah, uh, this has filled up very nicely, so let's go ahead and put down a couple markets here, market, market, how do I want to do this? market. I'm gonna move that forum. Forum, go sit somewhere else. That's not a good place for the forum. Do I tax people? Maybe if I just do that, right? We can have four markets here, getting two types of food, and there is plenty of it. That has now hooked up. Now, for some efficiency, I am going to gatehouse this. Uh, because that pineapple block is going to struggle enough as is. So now there's a supply of wheat here. Uh, we can go ahead and... Just get like two markets going right there. You know, and we could also uh, gatehouse right here into the lemon block. So these markets have access to pottery. This pineapple block is actually pretty efficient with the, the setup. Furniture is only over there though, so uh, I might have to bring that down, but uh, it should work, it should work. Uh, probably now that we're feeding more people, we could do with a couple more wheat farms on this side just to keep the supply up. Let's go three wheat farms, yeah. Because we're now feeding the pineapple block and this block down there, so yeah, we need to keep that going. Okay, so now, Let's get more reservoirs coming up. Uh, one, two. I'll need a fountain like here, right? One, two. It might be easier to just have a reservoir here and here, right? Have that breaking out there. Have this breaking out there. 
Aqueduct through there. Aqueduct through here. And we can now fountain up the rest of this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that covers all of those houses. Yes, yes. Good, good. Very nice. More people moving in. Ah, there we go. We are feeding these. They need entertainment. So let's go ahead and put down an act uh, colony. Oh, a lot of food was taken up. Maybe I'll just leave them like this for now. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. A gladiator riot. But I don't have a coliseum. Our gladiators, angry about risking their lives for the mere amusement of others, have rebelled against their fate, use prefects to control them. Gladiator revolt. I do have amphitheaters somewhere. But where? I just have, like, I have these guys. Are you guys gonna start rioting? Enemy. Marcus Mac Machius. Do I have amphitheaters anywhere else? No, right? I've only got one amphitheater in the whole city. Okay, okay. Let's go stop them. What was that building? A forum. Okay, they destroyed a forum. Stop killing people. Okay, there's the gladiators. I think we can get them. With these guys. Go fight them, please. The gladiators change model when they start fighting. You see that? <laughs> okay, okay. I think... I know auxiliary mounted aren't that powerful, but... Really? Can I just bring some legions over? Bring some javelins over. Hail! Our brave prefects have won the day. The rebellious gladiators had enough of their struggle against us and agreed to return to normal work. It seems that they missed the thrill of fighting lions. Problem solved. Everyone go back. There we go. Uh, let's rebuild this farm. Too close to enemy troops. There we go. Okay, so they just took out a forum, that's fine. Uh, these houses have actually moved in, uh, but I'm more concerned about getting this food supply going. Perhaps I should focus on one type of food. Or maybe the first feeding was just... Actually, food supply is okay. Food supply is actually fine. Lots of vegetables, okay. Just some markets not going down this way. I guess I could... Yeah, if I put markets here, they're far away from the granaries, but they'll eventually get some food down this way. So we've got six markets here trying to feed this whole area. <laughs> it's not efficient at all, but uh, these houses are should be filled with two types of food, right? Oh, they're not taking two types of food. Oh, I see. Wait, no, we are distributing some vegetables. Some houses are just taking vegetables, some are just taking wheat. Okay. That's fine. How's the wheat supply doing here? These houses have evolved as well. Okay. You know what? Let's plaza up the pineapple, and now it looks like a proper pineapple. There we go. Yes, yes. Ah, you guys are spamming Zach gods. They're all irritated. Is there a supply of marble we can import? Yes, there is, you know? So let's go ahead and put down a warehouse, just like right here. Set to accepting marble. Let's import some marble. Just a bit to get things going. Because I could do with like some oracles here. And that will solve some desirability issues and also some god issues. Uh, meanwhile, I probably should just put down temples, right? You know? Like, uh... Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. And Venus. This is not an efficient way of doing things. <laughs> uh, but I'll do it like that for now. 
right? So five temples there, that should keep the gods relatively happy. Why are... Uh, oh. Let's turn all of this off. Okay, now we've imported enough marble. Let's stop importing that. Our money is a little low. Are we taxing people? Yes. Are we paying okay? I forgot to turn off my salary. Look at that. Um, okay. Now let's keep going. Looks good, looks good. These houses should now evolve. Greater stature, very nice. Um, how's our employment right now? 6% unemployment? Oracles don't provide priests and god access. Yeah, I, I do know that. Uh, Plaza Pineapple trademark says Blaster. Yeah, it's the Plaza Pineapple. That's a good name for it. The Plaza Pineapple. Vijaynath, welcome to the stream. Hope you had a good Christmas. Um, seems like two markets actually reaches all of these okay. Alright, uh, let's get down a forum to tax people. Let's put down a theater to entertain people. Let's just put the actor colony and stuff like that. Um, I suppose it could be up here, right? Yeah. We can put the actor colony there. We could put down some bathhouses around here. Now we're gonna need like a bathhouse there. And there. Three bathhouses, okay? Uh, schools, we probably need a couple of them. School, school, yeah. We might need three schools. Because they're just so hard to, to manage. Let's get three schools down. Uh, this is, yeah, no basic educational facilities. Three schools should cover, because see, the, the school children just turn everywhere. <laughs> I think that should cover all of these houses, right? Two little entertainments still. Well, I do need an amphitheater down here. I'll probably need an amphitheater up here somewhere. Like that. That should be okay. The gladiator school? Can go here, I guess. Oh, that engineer's post is actually spawning up there. Let's not do that. Like that, okay. Uh, enemies at the door, not a problem. Not a problem. How are the gods feeling now? 11% unemployment, they're all displeased, okay. I wanted to put down two oracles here for desirability. Bam. And I can also preemptively put oracles here. Or should I save it for somewhere a bit better? Is there anywhere that needs an oracle? Like here? For desirability, I guess? It'd be better if the Venus Temple was here. Actually, no. Is there only one temple here? Providing access to all these houses? That can't be right, right? One temple can maintain all this? This seems a little risky. <laughs> um, oh well, I'll, I'll see if that's a problem later on. Let's, let's not put an oracle there. It is a silly place. I'll, I'll just save up to put the oracles here between the palaces, right? Okay, that should get the gods happy. Do we have any more marble? Nope, we used it all. Fantastic. Uh, I'm now focusing on the pineapple block. Yes. So they now need um, furniture, which I guess I could just put a warehouse right there. Set to getting furniture. Good, good. Uh, how's the food supply over here? Is it maintaining? It's okay, I guess. Uh, they need a clinic or hospital. Let's put down some clinics. Doctor. Bam. That should cover that. And this should start evolving these houses. 
the populace of the banana block only worships Venus. Is there a joke in that? Says evil scientist too. I don't know. What do you think? Whatever it is, that banana block is getting bigger. Uh... <laughs> Druki says, What is a fruit block? Is it an actual thing? Or is it just you dicking around with weirdly shaped housing blocks? It is me dicking around with weirdly shaped housing blocks. Most of the blocks I do right now um, are, not, are not real things. Are not real things. Uh, animal blocks, all of that. It's not real things. It's basically uh, me... Broken aqueduct? When did that happen? The, the riot? It's okay. It just hit the wedge block. Mo yeah, most of the blocks I do now are just me proving that you don't have to follow block designs. Just do whatever you want and there's a way to make it work, right? Look at this. This block is insanely inefficient. The pineapple block? This is a Sim City block. You build like this in Sim City. This is not how you build in Caesar 3, but here we go. Uh, needs clinics, doctor. Bam, bam. Two doctors should be enough, yep. We've evolved the pineapple block, and it's pretty stable. Oh, there we go! Our relief force defeated the invading barbarians. In gratitude, Caesar sends materials and men to let you build a triumphal arch in your city. Fantastic. Uh, Triumphal Arch should go into the Luxury Palace area, but how do I make it look good? Like, it'd be cool if I could just, like, do this, right? It'll help with desirability as well. If only I could get a second Triumphal Arch. That'd be good too, but I guess we'll put it here first. Right? It looks good. It looks good. Bam. Don't worry. That'll look good. Right? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, you only get one in one scenario? I'm not too sure. Do I think I remember getting more than one. At this, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I love this stone block. I actually don't always like to plaza things up. But, because this, this looks just nice, right? If you, if you plaza this up, it, like, it doesn't match him anymore, because you can't plaza here. But, yeah, that looks good. And, and then if you, like, mix it with, like, large statues, it can look really nice. Like, if you did that... That looks like a real thing, right? I might just leave it like that. <laughs> that looks like a real thing. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's good. Um, how's the food supply here? All these markets are actually very well stocked, except for the far away ones, which is not too much of a concern. How's the food supply here? Oh, we are actually struggling to feed all of these houses. I'm going to have to do something that's a little bit efficient here. Okay, let's slow the game down. We are going to need a bunch of wheat farms. That's annoying. Okay. This should solve the wheat problem. Yeah. So, the pear block has a squiggly branch coming out of it, okay? But I do need to urgently solve this problem, and I think I'll just temporarily set that to not accepting so we could get some wheat stocked up into that warehouse, please. Uh. Can I up the food production here as well? Like 
maybe that will help. That might help, okay. How is our unemployment, by the way? 24% unemployment? Jeez, uh, I guess I should drop the Senate somewhere. Um, you know what? The Senate could go back here. That's fine. Let's make this place look rather official, yeah? Where do I want to put the Senate? It could fit there. Could I could just put it up here at this intersection. Yeah, I think here. That looks a bit more appropriate. Here. And also, uh, while I'm here, and I have money, Governor's Villa. Ooh, that looks good there. Governor's Palace is a bit bigger. My villa, though, could go right there. Ooh. Actually, I... How do I want to place this? I don't know, I don't know. How, how do I make this? I never build these buildings. It does fit very nicely there. Oh, that looks good. looks good. Nothing's collapsing, right? It should be fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got, we got to solve this food problem here. Let's get some food stocked up in this warehouse, please. Because feeding these houses has uh, affected some things. Uh, how do I deal with unemployment? Let's just go like academy. Academy? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to fit a hospital around here somewhere too. That should take up some employment. I'll try keep this stuff symmetrical. Hospital. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I could do that. Okay. Hospital. Hospital will go there. Uh, we're gonna need... Schools. We're gonna need... Temples to the gods. I should go for large temples then. Uh, what, what else can I put for now? Forums. Yep. Uh, libraries. Theaters. Amphitheaters. How did I... Hmm. Huh. Cruel keeping the school kids hungry? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just dealing with my unemployment right now. Oh, that, that water tile. The pain of it. Uh, I mean, I could go slightly less efficient and just do this, right? To keep it symmetrical. Uh, it's one tile, but... Uh, it's okay. Academy, library, school are done. What else do these... Ah, uh, yes. Doctors. Barbers. And we'll need bathhouse. Which can go there. Okay. Then we could get our reservoirs going. We can be there. That should be able to reach far enough in, and we could also have this reservoir. We need to get close enough, so I think I gotta make space for it here. And hook this up. There we go. So now we can fountain this area. Does that reach? I think it does. 
Oh, that's annoying. I gotta bring the reservoir one down. Don't you hate it when that happens? Employees needed. Oh, did I actually shot by nine employees? Would you look at that? Uh, fountain. One, two, three, four. That's there. That does not reach, right? Oh, it does. Okay, these actually need to be like this. I know this looks good, but it can't be like that. There we go. Now the luxury area at least has, uh, <laughs> has some fountains and water. That looks good. How's our food supply? Is it all going? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's re-accept that. Actually, yeah, set it to get it. Oh, is employment a problem? I'm gonna need houses there. Engineer's post. Look at that. Filling that up with food. Set it back to accepting. Seems like these farms did the trick. Perhaps I built too many. Perhaps these two markets ran out of... Oh, I need to up my wood industry as well. Timber yard. Furniture. What is this? Oh, too few people. Ah, oh, we are shot by 55. Let's uh, cut back on some of these farms, yeah? That should be enough anyway. But we have room to expand if required. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Make sure to tax the luxury blocks. Yes, there is a forum there. Don't worry. I, I always forget to tax. Thank you for reminding, Blaster. Uh, build seven furniture makers to maximize. I'm never too sure about that. Five thousand people. We don't quite have those yet, though. Unless you're talking about my governor's, uh, governor's house. Let's up the furniture production a little bit as well. Timber yard. <laughs> Workshop. Furniture. Oh, we're under attack! Slow the game down. Let's do that. Um, if I get rid of that and do this, I could actually put furniture workshop there, and then that should work out fine. Where are we being baited from? That's wrong. Ah, uh, where are they? Here. Okay. Oh, we actually don't have our troops back yet. Uh... That's not so good. Did I send too many troops? Okay, we need to delay them as much as possible. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Okay. <laughs> Our troops are actually not home from the war that we sent them off on. Are they? They should be on their way back, right? Your legion returning to your city. Okay. Uh, maybe I sent too many soldiers off to help in the war? Let's try lure one, one battalion over first, yeah? Okay, if it's just that, we're gonna be fine. Nope, there's more, there's more. We gotta pick, pick one off. Okay, please be no more than that. All the gods are happy. You know what, let's uh... Let's hold a festival to Mars, yeah? Just see if you can give us a blessing for next time, yeah? Jeez, that's a lot of them. Okay. okay. Uh, 
We are so pleased with the trade potential of this route, we're now willing to trade even more of the following good. Oil. Okay. Um, geez, that's so many! Okay. Can I still... Let's try lure one group towards us first. Okay, if they come in bit by bit, look at all those tower bolts. Okay. Let's make sure they come through here. Okay. The legions are up, towers are firing, let the auxiliaries take the hits first. Towers on the back are starting to come online, okay, so we've got some backup here. We've got the first strong arm, Gaulish warrior, running away. Okay, they're starting to come in here, okay, okay, let's see if we can hold. Okay, okay. Uh, auxiliary horsemen are gone. Towers on the back are now firing as well. And I think we got it. I think we got it. The power of the Roman Legion. Everyone. We've got 14 javelins left, 6 legions, and 1 horseman. Ah, we did it! See you, Charles the Mysterious, another strong arm warlock, the wrinkled and blackbeard Gaulish warriors on the run. Second row of towers all set out. AMB Online says, neat battle commentary. Thank you so much. And that is easy enough. Help yourself. There's that festival. Maybe next time, yeah? Maybe next time, Mars? <laughs> ah. Did it. Okay. So, let us uh, see what else we can do here. We're gonna need, like, separate farms for, for this area down here, for sure. The food supply is actually going back up here. We need more wheat, though. We have a lot of vegetables, but we need more wheat. And it seems like the battle music is not stopping. There we go. <laughs> ah, fantastic, fantastic. I think, I think we did it, right? I think I need to move the whole furniture industry to somewhere else. Actually, the furniture industry is not a problem. Look, even on the other side of the map, there's still furniture. It's fine. It can actually go quite far. In terms of efficiency, it does need more stuff, I think. What I can do to increase the furniture production is to utilize this road right here. Have, like, some houses set up right here in this corner. Have an engineer's post. Ah, your victorious soldiers march home proudly. All of your people will bask in their glory and goodwill fulfills the city. Uh, fills the city. We'll do that. And we can also then... Um, actually, do I need a gatehouse here? If I hook this up, there's a house there, there's a house there. It's actually fine. Let's hook that up. Where is the engineer's post for here? It's That should be fine, yeah? Okay, we can hook this road up. So this road is now connected to here, which then connects to... Oh, I cannot do that. I... No, 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 no. I can't do that. You guys know why I can't do that? Because... If this road here is connected to this road here... This road connects all the way down to the cherry blocks. So if there's not enough furniture to gather here, the market ladies will walk... Up to there.
Yeah, I can't do that. You know, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. That's... No, nope, you guys don't can't move in there. Sorry. This road can be broken there. If I clear that off, I can then have this road. Okay. Not like that. Take advantage of this. Have this road clear off like that. I can then do this. And go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did it. And that's why people call me the master. <laughs> uh, I probably should just have some houses here for stability's sake. And for safety's sake. Another engineer's post. You know, it, it feels better that way. It feels better. Okay. Now, we are still just short on wheat here. Hopefully they'll come back up. Uh, wheat supply here is also doing okay. How's the wheat supply here? It's struggling. It is struggling over here. I probably shouldn't evolve these houses anymore. Actually, there's plenty of food. There's 1,400 food in the markets right now, and I think this is grabbing another 600, so that there's actually plenty of food. That's not a problem. Are we actually successfully feeding these houses? with two types of food. Uh, not everywhere. Some places are a little short on food or short on wheat. Vegetables are no problem. Wheat is a problem. Which means I do have to slowly shift the wheat supply from the vegetable supply. Oh, I could, I could put a farm there too. Actually, it's not a problem. There we go, extra wheat farm. Okay, okay. Yeah, that looks good. We're short on workers by how many? 69. You know, we didn't need these academies. Problem solved. Let's focus on involving some of these houses. They need access to a library to evolve. Okay, let's give you a library. Um, what do they need to evolve further? Oil. Hmm. Oil. Oil is only imported, right? Oh, we can import olives. Tw only 25, though. Only 25. I think we are maxed on sales except for iron. If we sell a bit of iron, we'll actually max out our exports. So it should be fine, right? There we go. Blessing from Mars. Fantastic. So it's December now, so do we max our exports? Almost. We just need a bit more iron and our exports would actually be maxed. Can I increase my iron production at all? I I don't need to increase my iron production. I can lower my weapon production. Alternatively, if I just move the weapons workshop over to the back. And change the shape of this road. Our small banana block is more of a splodge now, but we have maximized our exports. 
Okay, okay. Um, I should start thinking about feeding these people, but I need to evolve these houses so that we can actually... Uh... I mean, the food supply looks stable enough to... Food supply looks okay. What do these guys need? Entertainment? Okay. You know what, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do... Theater, theater. Amphitheater, amphitheater. Actor colony. Gladiator school. And the... You know, that looks weird. Actor colony. Gladiator school. And... Destination walker should send the two entertainment walkers down the left side and the right side. No, they'll just go down the middle, wouldn't they? <laughs> uh, I, I can't break this road. That will ruin the core of the apple, wouldn't it? How do I do this? How do I do this? The farm has no road access. Which farm? I'm pretty sure all the farms have road access. Yeah, that's fine. It's touching there. So yeah, this is just going to send people walking down the middle, which is not what I want. If I break this road, it doesn't really change the apple block. It does mess up the placement of temples, though. Because for safety, Neptune Mars should go over there. So now, the entertainers will have to walk either left or right. Now, do they evenly split to the left and right? There's a theater guy going down the right side. Let me just go to overlay, entertainment, theater. So this guy walked down the right, so this guy should walk down to the left. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So this guy should now walk down to the right. Oh no, he, we do have theater and amphitheater. So let's see, this next guy should go down the right side of the apple core. Maybe, maybe. Do they all go left? Why? Are they taking the left path even though they should go... Are these guys all going to the left? One did walk down this way temporarily. The theater walkers go far, look at that. He's walking all the way up there. Where's... Oh! Oh, actually, that's fine. This is a loop. This is a loop. If that's the case, then we should be able to... hook this road up, and whenever one of the theater walkers walk around the outside of the apple, they come back this way. This is this apple core block is surprisingly functional. Look at that. This is what happened when I did the spiral block. Basically, the entertainment walkers, if they ever walk out to the right side, to the outermost road, they will come back because they'll walk up to here and say, oh, we need to go back. And the shortest route is to come back on the inside of this road. Look at that. So we get a theater walker right here. Ah, it works, it works. Short by 79 employees, geez. Uh, well, maybe I overdealt with employment, right? Do I have like too many? I do have too many farms, don't I? Okay. It's because of all of this, boosting up my furniture production. Am I selling furniture from all over the place? You know what, let's turn off furniture exports for now. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We currently have two areas using furniture, right? Yeah. Okay, so now what do these guys need? No basic education, right? 
Um, school, school. I have to destroy a house, I think. There's no way I could get this. I don't know if that's going to cover everything. Let's find out. I probably should have, like, schools here instead, right? These kids run up this way. School children don't run very far, by the way. I might not need these. Right? Education, schools. That should work. Okay, so there are en enemies at the door. We are getting our military back. There we go. Just auxiliaries that got wiped out last time. So it should be fine. Ah, furniture should start jumping back up. Short by 57 employees. Did I build too much furniture production? Probably. Uh, is one library really enough to cover all of that? Okay. Oh, I don't need the hospital. There we go. That's, yeah, that's that, that should solve problems, right? Just evolve housing? Yeah, that's what we're, we're trying to do anyway. Well, we've evolved, evolved all of this. We can go ahead and have a warehouse stuck right here. Set to getting pottery. There we go. That should get those houses evolved. Uh, do they need anything else to evolve? Religion should be fine, right? Okay. So that'll evolve that housing. I don't know if I want to feed this area. It's a bit tricky. I don't know if I want to feed this area either. I'd like to evolve these houses, but that's just going to take a lot. And I'd rather stabilize the other housing blocks first, right? Okay. Money is not a problem, though. Do you see that? Money is not a problem at all. Now, do I plaza up the rest of the pineapple? I think I do, right? Oof, I want to garden this, but I think it looks weird, right? And also, it would create a... It doesn't look good. I think I'll just leave it like that. Because placing a garden there would mean this becomes a road access and it'll just destabilize the block even further. Towers do require a lot of workers. Yeah, they're like five each. But not that many. In a city of, like, 5,000 plus people, five workers is not a lot. Yeah, there's plenty of room for more people to move in here. Local bathhouse. I never placed down bathhouses. Baths. Let's go... I'm gonna have to shift this. The seeds of actually mess things up the most here. Is it actually water? Oh, it does actually reach that far. Three bathhouses? That should cover things. Is pottery in? Pottery is coming in. Fantastic. Food is surprisingly stable here. Maybe it's because we have so many markets, right? So it, it splits up the workforce a bit. Yeah. Okay, furniture is starting to stockpile up again, which is great. And there should be a supply of furniture there. Food. Oh, look at that. Food actually is stockpiling up here. Fantastic. Uh, military starting to fill back up. So the next invasion, whatever it is, will be fine because all of our military is here. 
Can I water that house? I can actually. You know, just for for looks. There we go. Maybe if I have like a row of gardens here, that might look good. Yeah, that looks good. But not here. This doesn't look good. Kind of. Kind of. I guess. It's fine. <laughs> uh, our money is going down a little bit, but uh, that's fine as long as we still have a surplus. I need to get unemployment so that I can get uh, farms going. So let me just clear off some of these trees. Create a nice bit of space here. Uh, we can... Yeah. I don't want to just demolish... I hate, like, cut... But then again, that, that kind of just looks like a mess. That's fine. Okay. I, I like to try keeping things a little bit more natural looking. Yeah. Three. We're going to need a road here. Who's moving out? Did houses here devolve? Why? Too little entertainment. Perhaps I do have to break that road connection, right? Just to help stabilize things a bit better. But I still don't understand. When they walk this way, why do they always go left? I know there's asymmetry here. That's probably the, the problem. Oh well, that should be fine. I break that road, this left side will be covered. Okay. Uh, what was I doing here? Okay. Are more people moving in? Yes. Okay. No supply of furniture. I think we need another market here. There we go. That should stabilize the pineapple block. Uh, what was I doing here? Okay, we don't- we probably don't need that many... ...farms. So let's just go... Probably three each will do. But we can get pigs as well. Well, pigs. Three each. Yeah. Then we could have... Granary, granary, granary. Have like... Some houses here. Some houses here get an engineer's post, you know, two engineer's posts just to make sure things are stable. We gatehouse there, perfect. That was almost wrong. And then we have granaries down here. Granaries on the leaf? That's kind of weird, but... Do I do I do it like that? I guess so, right? Right? So I'll probably need some houses here as well, just to stabilize that, and an engineer's post there. Okay. Uh I don't want to gatehouse this, that's kind of weird. You know, the engineer's post should be like here instead. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be accepting wheat. This is going to be accepting vegetables. This is going to be getting wheat. Oh, this is going to be accepting meat as well. Okay, there we go. This is going to be getting vegetables. And this is going to be getting meat. And we're going to stock up on food there. And then we'll have three types of food. Ready for our luxury palace. Ah, oh. 
<laughs> I want to get that set up as much as possible. Now, is there, are there, is there any block I could actually increase? You know, there's actually a lot of food here. If I just uh, built more houses over here, we'd actually be okay on employment. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And that. Employees needed, yep. And let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. And then... You know, let's import some more marble. We can then also get a... Some, we're gonna need some warehouses down this side, right? I guess they just spread around the leaves. One, two... Three. This is going to be getting pottery. This is going to be getting furniture. This is going to be getting... Oil, yes. Because I'll be accepting oil somewhere further or closer to the entrance. And we're going to need a warehouse just for here. Set to accepting wine. Because we're going to need to import that. Right to here. Chaitanya91 says build three warehouses. Yeah, perfect. We're thinking along the same lines. <laughs> uh, that might become problematic with the getting granny since you have warehouses storing two of those types of food. But it's okay. Granaries can't get from warehouses because unless there's a road connection and there's no road connection to the pear block. See? Don't worry, Saju. Don't worry, Saju. The granaries can't get from warehouses unless there's a road connection. There we go. Food's starting to come in. The first 300 is in. Of the three types of food, these granaries are now going to grab them from over there, bring them closer down to the cherry block. I can't believe this is working, but it totally is. Um, yeah, then we just need to spam some markets down here and we should be good to go. Have we imported some marble? There we go, there's some marble. Let's put down those oracles that we wanted to put down. So we want them there, there, and there, 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 and there. Oh, I'm out of marble. Okay, we need a bit more. Right. How's our furniture supply? Oh, furniture supply is back to A-OK. -okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, five, six, six, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah, where well, you have three areas functioning, so you want that over twenty-four. Okay. These warehouses, too few employees. Oh, we are shot by thirty-eight. We still have too many farms there. Perhaps I can cut back a bit on furniture production. That is a bit much. Okay, there we go. That should solve that problem. All these warehouses are now functioning again. Uh, the first 300 is down. The next 300 is going to be coming in. Once there's 1,200, it should be actually good to go, right? Oh, invasion. Should be no problem. No problem. Does this work? No, it keeps sending me there. Where are they coming from? There again? Okay. But this time, we have our full complement. They're also attacking at our strongest point. Let's pull that back a little bit. Right? To there. That should be good. Uh, you are going to sit right back there. You are going to sit right back there. And we're going to have you guys on the front lines because you're expendable. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's speed it up and let's deal with this invasion. We do have a blessing from Mars as well. 
This is the worst place they could attack from. The best place they could attack from is here right now, actually. Oh, look at this food coming in. There's 600. The next 300's coming in here. That looks correct. All right, all right. There's a spirit guardian conjured by Mars. Wipes out one group of them. Fantastic. They give us plenty of time. Actually, it only wipes out like half a group. They give us just about enough time to get our prima, well, our legionnaires here. There we go. Lined up quite nicely. Very nice. Tighten the formation a bit. Auxiliary horsemen can engage. Make sure they don't do anything funny there. Okay. Yes, yes. And just one survivor. Long Fu, the mysterious, a Gaulish warrior. So long, Long Fu. And we lost one legionnaire and eight horsemen. Fantastic. Now, how much food is here? 900, that sounds about right. Let's get the markets down. Let's go maybe two markets each area, like that. Bam. So markets can take 1,200 each. And there's just about 1,200 for each type of food here. Fantastic, let's keep going. Uh, that house there will also evolve quite nicely, but that could actually be a villa. If I just move the fountain there instead. Is that covered? It is. And just leave this open. Doesn't look good, but uh, I could allow this house here to evolve into a villa. Pottery and furniture is coming on down, and uh, you know I'm gonna have like some houses there, and an engineer's post right there, like that. And what I can do is I can have a warehouse here and here. This one is set to accepting uh, olives. This one is set to accepting vines. Actually, no. I don't want the, the olive industry here. I want the wine industry here. Accepting vines, yes. And I can have workshop wine and I just import vines and I can have a bit of a wine industry here so when I set to importing wine it'll immediately count as two types of wine fantastic now all these houses are, I don't have any temples here uh, have I been importing lots of marble some marble because uh, I wanted to get that last oracle down before anything. Uh, now, large temples. I never use large temples, but uh, now's a chance to use them. Okay, we, we've already lost the symmetrical aspect of things here, so let's shift that over there. We can have... What large temple do we want? Venus? Venus looks good. Mars? Mars looks good there too. Let's do a large temple to Venus right there. And a large temple to... Mercury? Mercury is facing this way. Mercury can be there. Uh, Mars, I wanted to go here. 
reduce the price of furniture. Why? Uh, <laughs> uh, Neptune. That looks good. And what do we not have? Series. We can go right there. Large temple series. What is blocking my way? Oh. I never use large temples. But there we go. Large temples. I need three gods for the luxury palaces. Yes, unfortunately, I'm going to need to put another temple somewhere over on this side, which kind of messes up the symmetry of things, isn't it? Where's the hippodrome going to go? Uh, probably up here. <laughs> With chariot makers down here on the cherries. What are these? Supply of pottery. Pottery should be coming in, right? The first feeding is always going to be a bit tricky. Oh, look at that. The markets have three types of food already. So they're just grabbing all the food types. Wine is already coming in. Fantastic. Yes. Furniture is looking A-OK. -okay. There's more marble. I think that should be enough marble for now. Let's stop importing marble. Uh... Is there anything else we could do for now? This has evolved. It's got pottery. Needs a supply of furniture. There is plenty of furniture going around. This house has evolved as well. No basic educational facilities. Okay. A distant Roman army is... Uh, Roman city is threatened. An average force. 24 months. No. Average force requires four things. Javelin, legionnaires, legionnaires... Javelin. No. Horse. We'll send Javelin, two Legionnaires, and a horse, keeping ourselves with Legionnaires and Javelins. Yeah. Dispatch. Off they go. And let us throw a festival to Mars, because we'll probably need help if we get invaded. Second triumphant arch? That would be good. We'll put it right here. Uh, which reminds me, I should probably move the market now. Uh, I'll let it distribute first. <laughs> I'll let it distribute. That market might have to go if we want to put the trample arch right there. This temple being moved, I'm not too concerned about. I could always fit... If I move the engineer's post to here, I can fit the temple over there. I could just do that now. So there we go. Trample Arch can go right there. Yeah, hospital. Yeah, it's not exactly symmetrical for things, but it's okay. Wine is there. Uh, what do these houses need now? Access to a library? Let's give them their library back. What is employment like? Unemployment of 1%. Perfect. Ah, this is looking good. Ugh, two marble wasted. Well. <laughs> whatever will we do? Employees needed? Yeah. We need to evolve these, I think. Doctors. Then. Then. There. That should evolve those. Doctors take five workers. There's our festival. We're at 6,000 people, so we've actually got a ways to go, I think. But I'm gonna try do it. I'm gonna try. No local access to a barber. Can I get these houses vault? I mean, I did these houses over here in the banana block. Guys, I forgot 
Fountains. Fountains are a thing that are required for houses to evolve. Why could I not... Yeah, I don't need that. Let's put an oracle there. I need to help the desirability. I don't like that. Okay. That, that's, yeah, I was wondering why there was no, why is there an engineer? Where are you from? Wait, why is, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you from? But this guy? What? Why is this guy here? This city would be a lot better Where are you from? What? He's going on an adventure? Let the engineer have his bit of fun? Nanotox? Um, hmm. Okay. Off he goes then. Needs a supply of oil. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is basically replace these houses here. I'm gonna put a warehouse here and here. This is going to be accepting olives. This is going to be accepting oil. So that I can now import olives to turn into some oil and we're just gonna do a bit right now because I want to focus on on just the luxury block for now yeah that's good right so that will develop enough oil. Ooh, food here is actually doing A-OK. -okay. So I guess we could cut back on a couple farms there. Um, food here? What is so low here? Meat? Are these other markets stocked well enough? Yes, that market's gone. Is meat, is meat consumed more than other things? Because this seems a little weird, but OK. An extra pig farm, I guess? It's like it's disproportionately consumed. Okay, what do these need? Supply of oil? Yeah, so we just need a supply of oil to get these evolved further. Okay, so now these houses over at the banana block should be evolving. Uh, they don't have a school. Let's hope school children, yeah, the school child stops right there. Desirability is an issue. So let's just give you a garden like that. Give you a garden like that. We could wrap that around like, hmm. Caesar gardens just don't look nice, do they? Okay. Where are the school children? Wait, are all the school children running the wrong way again? Let's try and move the school. There. Overlays. Education. School. Alright, we're gonna be invaded again. Not a problem. Not a problem. 
Where's those kids? Where's these kids? Hate it when that happens. Bath theater. Move the bath. There. Move the theater. Here. Put a school. There. That should do it. Hopefully. Please, one child run this way. Please. Employees needed. Oh, okay, so we're not that short. That's perfect. Oh, that garden is messing things up. I see. That was a problem. There we go. What? Supply of furniture? No, you, you have... Ah, oh, things are all just kind of a bit messed up over there. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, do we have oil coming in? Yes, we do have oil starting to come in. Fantastic. Uh, is the meat supply stabilizing? I don't know why pigs is sort of a problem, but okay. These houses are... The, the houses aren't even... They're not even eating meat. They're not even eating meat. Anyway, I do think I have to plaza up the cherries, unfortunately. So let's do this, because they, these houses already have desirability issues. There we go. The cherries are plaza Oh, I was in the zone and not reading chat. Sorry about that. Do, do ping me. When I look over at chat, I don't see many at Gamers X, so it's hard to see. Can you garden up the top of the pineapple with a long tree unit without connecting the roads? Unfortunately not. If you uh, garden this up, it will... Uh, I could sort of do this. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna work. I mean, uh, it, it doesn't look nice, does it? Right? It just doesn't look nice. And I can't garden up here because then that will actually connect. Right? Unfortunately. It says it's evolving. There, okay, there we go. Uh, Cart returning from delivery, waiting for new instructions. Okay, three oil is in. I should have put four. I should have put four workshops. There we go. Now, we are going to need one temple over here. What temple do we double up on? Mars, I guess. Not a small one. Actually, I could, I could get away with a small one. Yeah. I can just spam some temples elsewhere. Because I don't really want to... Uh, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury. Venus. There. Are we still importing vines? Only one of 15. Where are all of our vines? I hate it when it does this. Oh, we've sort of run out of pottery. Stop exporting that. Really? Just because of one more area, we lost all of our pottery? That seems wrong, but... gonna rebuild that. It's fine. Ah. Uh.
Okay, so I have to boost my pottery industry, it seems. Uh, it looks like I can cut back on my furniture industry and boost my pottery industry. So let me see how I can do this, raw material, clay pit. Yeah, I have to change the shape of the lemon block, I think. Yeah, I gotta make some space on the inside. I can put down another clay pit there. Fit in a couple more pottery workshops. There we go. Oh, I actually ran out of money. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm back in the white there. Uh, okay, okay. Zeleste says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you so much, Zeleste. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Still no oil supply, really? Can we not get some oil going? 82%. You're getting furniture? Okay, okay. Oh. Well, this seems like it's going to take a while. So I think for this mission, it's going to have to go to part four. I think it has to go to part four. Uh, because we've been doing such complex things and everything, here's the cherry block, here's the apple block. From here on out, we do need like one solid part, like another hour, I think, of just stabilizing and building up. Because we're 4,000 short of our target population and we've got a long way to go. And there's still no basic educational facilities in these buildings, so... <laughs> um, food is also struggling. It's not that there isn't enough food, we just need more things over here. Okay, so, uh, is it food struggling or is it all in the markets? Food is actually struggling, yeah. Perhaps I built too many houses. Uh, so I think we need to go one more part here. And, uh, well, I think it's going well enough. I think it's going well enough. Uh, we just have to work around various things. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for part three. We will be going on to part four for Lutetia. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, now that's going to be the end of part three for Lutetia. And uh, we've got some interesting blocks all developed and it just needs time. It just needs time to stabilize and get all the resources going. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the buttons on the screen right now and you will be able to go to part four or check out the whole playlist. There's a lot of Caesar 3 content on the channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.